All right, before we actually get into making our database and the scripts, I'm going to show you how to install any DBI2 real quick and get it set up for your server. So go ahead and go to, well, it will be linked in the description. Download from whichever source you want. All right, go ahead and click and open it up. Click and drag it into your ARMA3 folder. And open it. Now there, this will be in your ARMA3 directory, by the way, so it will just be Steam, Steam Apps, Common, ARMA3. Then click and drag it right there, how you would do a normal mod. Now, open the keys folder, go ahead and cut, and paste it in where your server keys would be. This is assuming you already have the dedicated server set up from go over to tools. No, it'll be from here. So yours may be in a slightly different location, but just put it where your normal server key should go. And then in order to actually run it, in case you've never added a mod before to your server, I just run it off of this executable. Get out of properties. At the very last line, you add where it says here. That to it. Because for this, you only want it to run on the server. Clients do not need this. The only time it's useful to actually run on your client, like if you were to open up an ARMA 3 and select it under mods. then it would just be for testing, nothing really else. And in order to actually add it to this, which we will have to be doing, click local mod, go to your ARMA3 directory, click on the folder, click select folder, and it should add it, which it did not because I already have it here, so it's not going to create a duplicate. All right, that's the end for this, and we will be going into how to actually create something with it.